Hey guys, welcome. Today I'm gonna be making this awesome and affordable LED UV exposure box. So yeah, let's start building. I've been searching for the optimum UV light source that peaks between 395 to 405 nanometers for quite a while. And at the end I've bought cheap LEDs that work great. If you'll be building anything similar, I also link them in the description below. I want for the unit to be as powerful as possible, so I ordered two 5 meter strips that will be cut and soldered together. I will be mounting the LEDs on thin piece of plywood that will be later installed in a cheap 40 by 60 centimeters plastic box. These are just some other tools and materials like reflective tapes, soldering iron, wires, switches and so on that I will be using during the build. I start by covering the plywood board with aluminium tape that will reflect all the light that might escape back to where I need it the most. And it will also make the LED strip adhere better later on. Then I proceeded with cutting the LEDs into 20-50 cm long strips. At the end I realized that they are soldered together exactly at every 50 cm, so I couldn't just cut them with scissors but had to desolder them apart. Strips will be arranged in rows, so in order to have an even exposure, I measured and marked the exact positions where they will be installed. When I had the marks, I started gluing the strips down. If you'd like to make things even cheaper, you can adhere them straight to the box itself. I'm using the board as support just because it's much easier to work and solder them later on. Individual rows will be connected with wires in a way that I will be able to use just half or all of them, so basically half or full power. Before soldering I cut, peeled and applied solder to 20 red and 20 black wires. This takes quite a lot of time but it's well worth it. Once all the wires are cut and stripped, I apply a small amount of solder to each one of them and by doing that they are gonna connect with the strips like a charm. As you can see I'm connecting every second row together, so with the help of switches I will be able to turn on just half or all of them at once. I'm just starting to learn how to solder so please don't be too hard on me. If you don't know how to solder you can also buy connectors that just clip to the end of each strip. The first line is now connected, so let's see if it works. Yes, I'm so happy to see that it works like I wanted. Then I move on and solder the rest of the strips to make the second line. When turning both lines on, it really looks super nice.
I attached the LED panel I just made inside the plastic box using hot glue. I did the same with the connectors. I just don't want to have too many things installed inside of the box as they can interfere with the light so I have glued both AC adapters on the outside. This way they will also be able to emit all of the heat freely. After drilling some holes I was able to run the wires on the inside of the box towards the switches. If you have any questions at any point feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. In terms of switches I went for the cheapest option and at the end they do a great job. There was quite a lot of tricky wiring that had to be done at this point, but I managed to get everything together the way I wanted. When I finished with the wiring, I closed the switches and glued them down with some hot glue. things off I combined both power cables together so I can use only one plug for both. Yeah I know I will have to cover this connection at some point to prevent any accidents. This is how the final UV LED exposure unit looks like. 